I'm going to show you the cure for boring blog posts that don't convert, boring emails that don't convert, boring presentations that don't convert all with ease, all using this free AI tool. This is how it works. You create yourself an account, you log in and you click this button on the top right that says new and you can use AI to write a draft for you or you can create a blank draft and copy and paste in that email you're about to send or info from your presentation or your blog post. Just go ahead and paste it in. I'll click on draft with AI and then right here, enter in what you want your content to be about. Of course, I enter in Surecart versus WooCommerce, then click on the continue button and it's gonna use AI to write this out. Now, obviously you gotta check it with facts. It's AI after all, or you just start with the content that you've already created, but it's gone ahead and created, well, it's still doing it, it says it's writing it. This is not, the point of the video is for writing this, but check this out. So I now have some written content and it's boring because it lacks visuals. But as I'm hovering over these bits of text, for example, right here, there is this blue lightning bolt. And when you click on it, there AI technology is going to look at that content and it's going to instantly present editable visuals that you can edit customize, and then you could put into your blog posts, emails, or presentations. Now, some of these, I will say, are very Microsoft Office looking, but not all of them. Uh, some of them are fantastic. So let's see here. Uh, let's see which ones I like. I like this right here, key features of Surecart. You know how much effort goes into making one of these graphics? I'm not a graphic designer. I'm not gonna be able to make one of these graphics, but I sure know that it really helps make the message of my blog post, my email, my presentation much more effective when I am breaking up the written content to have images like this. These are fantastic. And so not all of them are, you know, applicable to this. So, uh, or what I'm trying to do with this bit of content, uh, but let's go ahead and choose one that I like. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to go with this one. Now, when I click on this button, now I have style options. So it's showing it in this black and white style, but I can hover over these different styles and just choose the style that interests me. This is interesting. It's kind of got the WooCommerce color up in there. Um, we want the shortcut color in there. Uh, this is great. It has like a really nice uh, style that is interesting to me. So I can click on this now, once it's on the layout, you're looking at it, it looks kind of funky. That's because it hasn't been placed down just yet. I can customize colors still. I can customize the topography, uh, all the different options that you would need. And you can even click into it and customize the bits of text. So I'll, I'll click on it. And now that I've clicked out, you can see it's now part of the content. But it's actually, what's actually really cool is I can highlight it all like this. And then when I hover, there's this purple button here. And when you click on it, it gives me the option to download this image, even with a transparent background that I can then take and put into those different pieces of content that I already want to create. So I can download it as a PNG or an SVG and check this out right here. It says background on or off. So when you have this turned off, it will be transparent and it will uh, be perfect to place over the content that you're creating. And then what's also really awesome here, you have the option of changing the resolution of the download. So I'll just leave that like that and let's go ahead and try uh, something different. So let's see, let's highlight both of these for the ease of use and let's just see what it comes up with. They have some really good pro versus cons and stuff like that that's interesting. So I, I like this. This would be like a good image when to break up the sections of content in a blog post. I really like this. And of course, you can edit the text uh, once you've chosen it and styled it. This is really good. So uh, it shows kind of a nice graphical representation of the pros and the cons or the differences in this case. And uh, so I, I don't like ones like this. Uh, this is actually could be used, but I don't really like it that much. Uh, so let's see what else we got here. Uh, let's see. These are kind of cool, like a flow chart. So if you're trying to show a process, 
Let's see here. Uh, this is actually kind of cool with the weights uh, like that. Uh, this is really good for a lot of blogs, right? The pros versus the cons, right? So if I click on it, uh, let's see what style options. So this is more of a crisp style, uh, and this is more of that hand-drawn style. I'll go with the hand-drawn style for this one. And here's, of course, those same customization options. And I can tweak this out. So let's see what AI knows about this, the shortcard versus WooCommerce. Let's see. That's all right. Uh, steeper learning curve, plugin installation needed, configuration required, additional plugins. For hey, I love it. I love it. This service knows the, the benefits of using Surecard over WooCommerce, and it does it perfectly. I might even want to use this inside of a presentation. So let's see what else we have here. Conclusion, pricing. Let's see what it does for pricing. If I highlight both, uh, see if we get a lot of the same options. Uh, okay, and different bits of content would have it suggest different images. Uh, so let's see here. This is probably good for a conclusion right here. Do you want to go this way or that way? So I, I would use like a mixture of this. Oh, check this out. It got the WooCommerce logo. That's awesome. We need to make sure it gets the Shirtcart logo though. Uh, let's see here. This one just, I like it. I like this uh, because it's decision time, right? So uh, let's just go ahead and put that one in. And I like how this has a little bit of color to it. Uh, there it is. Here's a doc that I created, but I pasted in some information from a note that I keep. So I've been tracking the different growth milestones of Shirtcart. And so I literally just copied and pasted it in. And here, let's actually delete uh, what it created. And let's create this together. So I'm going to highlight this. Well, I don't even have to. It sees that the information is grouped like this. So the minute I hover over it, it shows me the lightning bolt. And so this is more of a timeline type of information. It's showing the growth of Surecart over time. Uh, so from launch, and it's basically showing uh, how many days uh, it takes to increment 10,000 more users. So you can get these more data-driven type of graphs like this. Uh, this is actually really nice. I kind of like this where it shows the launch, then it shows the uh, different milestones in this timeline view. I think I'd probably choose that. Uh, this is certainly what it's been like. This is not ideal. Uh, this is fine, but it feels a little bit cramped. Uh, but there's all these other types of graphs that you see that are totally different. And it's it's trying to figure out the type of graph that I would want based upon the data that it's looking at. You see that? So it has this uh, wide variety here. So for this one, I would probably go with this right here. Uh, and then there's various styles here that have different colors and different looks. And like I said, everything is fully customizable. So let's go ahead and choose one. Uh, I like that, actually. Launch, 10,000 active installations, 20, 30, 40, 50. And uh, in about two weeks, we should pass 60,000 active installations. Uh, but I really like the variety of the images that it creates. Now, if you want to go out and try this, you can go to wpcrafter.com slash napkin. Let me say this is not a sponsored video, <laughs> and this is not uh, an affiliate link. It's just an easier way of getting to the website in order to create a free account. Here's the website, and I did a little bit of looking into them. They're a new platform that launched, I think, about two months ago, and it's already VC backed. They already have a, like they're it's a serious business, a serious SaaS, but you can see here on their website, the different types of images that you can create with it. Uh, it's just, I, I don't know, I've never seen anything like this before. So it totally got uh, my attention. And I pretty much showed this, just paste in your text and click on the lightning bolt to generate visuals that you can use in anything. Uh, publish it, make it yours. And this shows some of the customization options uh, that you can have to try to make it yours. But this is the best part. You can take it anywhere. You can just download the image and toss it in your blog post, your presentation, your emails, your marketing materials, uh, whatever it is. So uh, here's a list of use cases. I didn't even think about using this in social media. Uh, that that totally makes sense. Uh, here's a gallery. Now, when I scroll up to the pricing, 
this is a new service. Uh, so right now uh, it's saying there's a free plan. Their professional plan is free because they're in beta and then there'll be a higher up enterprise plan. Uh, so I think I am using this professional plan uh, right here. Uh, they're probably using all the incoming users to learn and make the product better. What do you think about this tool? Do you think it can help improve your blog posts and your presentations? Basically, just how you present yourself and your business on the internet. I, I think this is a home run. I love that this is here and I'd love to see more companies try to do something similar because creating graphics like this, I tell you, Canva doesn't cut it. Uh, some templates don't cut it. This seems like a massive time saver to me. Let me know what you think about it though. I'm